Hi Libra, this is Tracy from Northeast Tarot and welcome to your February 2023 monthly tarot reading. This is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. So Libra, I would like to say welcome. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. If you are not subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe. Also, please give this video a thumbs up. All right, let's take a look at what you have coming up in the month of February, Libra. Also, guys, if you are interested in having a private reading, I now offer face-to-face uh, -face readings. So if you are interested in one, my link is listed down below. <laughs> All right, so let's take a look. Wow, first card out is the Lovers, crossed by the Queen of Cups. At your foundation, we do have the Five of Cups. In the recent past, we have the World. Okay. Crowning you, we have the Knight of Pentacles. Coming up in the near future, we have the Chariot. Okay. Wow, your power, how you're showing up here in the month of February, we have the star. How others are viewing you, we have the three of cups. Hopes and fears, we have the king of pentacles. Outcome is the seven of cups, so energy going into March. Seven of Cups, okay. Overall energy is the King of Wands. Okay, this King of Wands has been showing up quite a bit for these uh, February monthly readings. All right, you do have, you do have a couple of kings here, King of Wands, King of Pentacles in the spread. So you could be dealing with a couple of characters but let's take a look. Ooh, King of Wands with the Empress and the Page of Swords, Princess of Swords. Okay, you may have, you may have somebody around you who is very attractive, very attractive. Could be masculine or feminine, really doesn't matter, but Maybe you're pursuing this person. You may be interested in someone and you could be pursuing them or flip that. Um, they're maybe pursuing you. But coming up in the near future, we have the chariot. So travel is coming up for you. And we do have Valentine's Day here in the near future. So... Yeah, you may, you may be going out with a fire sign, or, I mean, this could be a Taurus, a Libra. You have the Queen of Cups here. You have the King of Pentacles here. So, water sign, earth sign, energy. But, you know, maybe you're going to do your research first. Uh, you have the Princess of Swords, so you could be checking this person out online. Maybe some of you are even doing some online dating, and you may get lucky here, definitely. First card out is the Lovers, and the challenge is the Queen of Cups. Yeah, so I'm definitely seeing um, a very strong attraction here. There's somebody around you or someone who's coming in. And yeah, for some of you, this could be like dating online. Maybe you're FaceTiming, you're talking to them a lot with that, that um, page of swords there, I feel. But you're very cautious or you're skeptical. There's something here. Could be because you've been hurt in the past. So that's the challenge at the start of the month is maybe being vulnerable, being completely open, but there's movement. This is you feeling empowered and in control here and a decision, a decision is needed 
And for some of you, it could just be you making a decision to pursue someone, pursue a relationship, or for some of you just to be open, to give love a chance. To listen to your intuition. Some of you, maybe you're scared. You don't want to get hurt because there was some sort of loss in the past with the Five of Cups here. But yeah, something is done. For some of you, this was um, you starting a new chapter here with the world in your past. This is, you definitely may be starting a new chapter. Some of you, maybe, maybe you learned a lesson or something like that. This is a level up though. It's a level up. Travel, travel is coming in. You could have traveled in the recent past. Now you're faced with a decision. You're being extremely cautious. Could be doing a lot of research, but we see you very, very motivated. And then here in the near future with the chariot, this is you feeling in control. This is you jumping in the driver's seat. There could be more travel that's coming in for some of you. For others, this is you just feeling incredibly motivated, determined, very inspired, especially with the star here. But again, a decision definitely is needed for some of you. So right now, you could be weighing the options. If this is on the job front, this may have something to do with a contract for some of you. Others, this is this is definitely could be something socially, um, but it's it's also love, and so some of you you do have options in love. You may be dealing with somebody, could be an ex, um, dealing with somebody that hurt you or disappointed you in the past. Maybe this person move too slow or something like that. And if you have, let's say a lot of fire in your chart, you know, maybe, you know, you're used to things, you know, moving at a quicker pace. And so maybe you are dealing with someone who's maybe an earth sign, um, but slow moving. They don't take action right away. But you have the star here in this in this position. Maybe some of you are stars, you know, in your own right, in some way. But this is this is optimism. This is faith. This is you moving forward. Some of you are moving towards a dream, a wish. And um, yeah, you could definitely be celebrating this going out. This is how you're being viewed by those around you, which could be going out, celebrating, could be reuniting with somebody. But this is a social energy. And so this is coming up. So it could be that you're going on a date. Could be traveling to, for some of you, I mean, this could be, um, Maybe like another country, another state, a uh, completely different area. And we see you just enjoying yourself, going out, having fun. Could be getting a lot of attention here in the near future. And if you are meeting new people, making new friends, I think that at first you're going to be... Um, a little guarded but I feel like you will let your guard down now in the hopes and fears we have the king of pentacles and then we have the seven of cups so if you did meet someone online or if you are meeting them here in February it could be it could be an earth sign definitely but also, you know, if you're dealing with someone from your past and maybe they were very slow moving, uh, again, maybe they're an earth sign, 
but this this can be you not seeing things clearly you know maybe maybe you were disappointed but maybe you were not seeing this person clearly or you didn't have all of the information and if you are meeting someone here at the end of the month king of pentacles just make sure that you're seeing them clearly because the seven of cups is here so seven of cups can be you know wearing rose colored glasses sometimes especially if you're going out you're having fun yeah so just be careful with that but let's do some clarifying i'm not going to clarify everything but i will take a look at a couple of things here first i'm going to look at the five of cups at your foundation for libra please clarify and you know some of you Librans that are single, I see you going out. I see you having multiple choices in love, but I feel like you just want to keep it light. You just want to keep it light. You just want to have a good time. Maybe not looking for anything serious at this at this moment. But this is you having options. You have options in love. Let's take a look at the 5 of cups. For Libra, please clarify the Five of Cups. The Page of Cups. Yeah, so this, this was definitely with a love interest for some of you. Maybe they were shy. That's not all of you, but for some of you, with the Knight of Pentacles here and then the Page of Cups, for those of you where... You know, maybe you were dealing with somebody that you were interested in and maybe for some of you, this person could be at a distance or not, but maybe they were just very slow, slow moving here. Yeah. For others, though, this, of course, could have something to do with a child. Some of you could even be separated from a child. But let's see. Let's look at the Seven of Cups. Please clarify the Seven of Cups for Libra. We have the Nine of Pentacles. And then we have the Magician. So you have everything you need, uh, Libra, when it comes to manifesting something new or creating change in your life. Now, some of you, you may be business owners. I could be reading for some Librans where maybe you're starting like an online business, something like that. Um, if you already, if you've already done that, this could be you maybe making some changes here, looking at maybe some options in front of you here. But for those of you where this is on the love front, if you're single, this is you knowing your worth. And again, I feel like some of you that are single, you just want to keep it light. You just want to keep it light. You're exploring your options. You're having fun. You're not going to settle. Nine of Pentacles. All right, let's pull you an overall guidance card for Libra. I see you very social here. I see you very social. I want to say the second week on. And so you could be going out a lot. Maybe you're networking. It's a nice energy. You're feeling inspired. What is the overall guidance for Libra for February, please? Forty-three. Celebrate life. I celebrate every day by honoring and respecting all life on Mother Earth. So you have a lot to celebrate. Again, completion here in the recent past. So something, something is done. For many of you, this is this is a chapter that's over with. 
you know, for those of you that have been single, that could be what's what's over with. It's just with the world, you know, it it doesn't it doesn't manifest overnight that chapter completion. It's not something that happens overnight. But um, you have a lot to be thankful for. And maybe, maybe you are honoring and respecting all life on Mother Earth. So maybe you're going outdoors more. Maybe you're helping animals. There could be something that you're doing here. Making a difference with the magician. And then we have reach out. This is number 12. I reach out my hand and my heart to connect to and unite all of humanity. Look at that. Some of you Librans, you're a light worker. Without a doubt, I'm reading for some light workers. Yeah. Could be making a new friend here if it's not you. Maybe it's someone around you. It's a nice energy. It's probably the best, the best reading I've I've done. It's really nice. Let's take a look at love for Libra is the guidance for Libra in the month of February. All right, I'm going to choose from these. It's far too many. Okay, this card wants to come out. Express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. So express yourself. Maybe, maybe some of you, that's what this is. Maybe you didn't express your feelings for somebody. Maybe you were interested in someone and, you know, maybe it just wasn't the right time. But look at the first card out. We have the lovers. This definitely can be a reunion. Others, you may meet someone. There's definitely possibilities for love. You have a very social energy here, yeah. New love for some of you, attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. Now, maybe when you're out with friends, um, just doing your thing, looking good, you may meet someone because for me, when this card shows up, um, this is this is you attracting someone when you least expect it. So you could be out doing your thing. Some of you may be more focused on your work um, and you, you have someone coming in. You may like this person immediately. There's a connection here. Uh, definitely a strong attraction, definitely. Beautiful. All right, uh, let's pull you one of these. This is career. But you also have the magician at the bottom of the deck. So this could be you manifesting this connection, this relationship, whether you're trying to or not, you know. Things tend to happen when we, when we put our focus elsewhere. All right, what is the guidance for Libra on the career front, please? What is the guidance? All right, obstacles and blocks are lifted. You also have the chariot here, which is a card of victory. So for some of you, this was not an easy victory that you have coming up but it is victory and it, it's maybe some obstacles or blockages that you are dealing with lifted and then this is healing energy that's coming in. Some of you could be making amends with somebody as well. All right, we have positivity, faith, and optimism. You open the doorway to positive experiences and opportunities with your positive expectations and energy. Do not allow negative energy or temporary setbacks to interfere with the path that you are on. 
keep the faith and keep going. Interesting. So what I want to say here, Libra, is for those of you where, you know, there, there weren't really any blockages prior, if there is something that comes up here in the month of February, if, if you have some sort of maybe temporary setback, that's exactly what it is. Uh, I feel like you will move past it with this chariot and the star. I'm definitely reading for some Librans we are. This is meant for you. Whatever you're moving towards, this is meant for you. And I love that these two cards came out together. I mean, look at this. Look at this. You're so hopeful. You're so positive. Your energy is contagious here. And I mean, everybody wants to be around you. This is some really amazing social energy that you have coming up here. Yeah, so, you know, if somebody asks you out, if your friends want to get together, or if you're going on a date, whatever it is, go. Have fun. I feel like you're making the right connections. Celebrate. Celebrate life. Celebrate life. You also, you have a couple of sevens here. So seven may be significant. Maybe something's been ongoing for you know seven months seven years but let's see what uh, sign you're dealing with you definitely could be dealing with an Aquarius Aquarius Cancer Leo very strong Leo here let's see but we also have Gemini We have Aquarius and Capricorn. All right. All right, Libra. So I hope that you find this reading helpful. If you do, please give this video a thumbs up and make sure you are subscribed. If you are interested in having a private reading, again, that link is listed down below. I am now doing face-to-face uh, -face readings if you are interested. Uh, also, go check my Etsy shop out. Uh, that link is down below. I did just release a few new decks. Uh, go check me out on Facebook, Instagram. I'm now on TikTok. All right, guys. So I'm wishing you a very blessed month of February. Take care.